So WordPress and Etsy, whether you're nine or you're 49, I mean, this is something you believe everyone should have those two items? One, 100%. Okay. I mean, if you're selling a product, if, if you're selling a product. Is there any other shopping carts you're a huge fan of or anything else that you feel like is a great, kind of easy, affordable option for thrivers out there that you just is right off the top of your head, you um, say? Well, the number one thing I would do in your 20 minutes yeah. would be to make sure that you're set up on all social platforms. Um, Facebook, all. Twitter, um, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. And you should have a YouTube channel, too. Like, even, you, you have to be set up. Like, you have to. Okay. Um, you have to, and you have to make commitments as well on those social channels. Even if you don't have your website up, you should be active on those social channels building your voice. Social media is not for friends. It's to build your platform. So, if you're 23 years old and you want to start a company and you want to start a polka dot sock company and... Uh, you're talking about, and, and you really want to be treated as a professional, um, and you're talking about um, you were at a rave till 4 o'clock in the morning. Like, the, whoever you, you that just, may be. Yeah, just whoever that might be. You that, have to have social media. Setup. You have to be social media, building your platform for whatever you're doing. If it's okay. selling polka dot socks, pizzas, uh, 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 selling potted cactus. So let me say this, though, because you're the, you're the creative. Now we're going to move on to this part about finding your niche. Mm -hmm. Finding the niche. And this is something that impresses me about you. I've tried to Google stalk you and find as much as I can about you and what you do. Because I've heard, heard the hype, heard people who've worked with you firsthand, heard people who love your products. And so I get into finding this niche. And so a lot of creatives who are watching this struggle to decide what niche to focus on. They're like, I love pizza. I love polka dotted socks. I'm a big fan. of, And so they, they can't focus. So I want to ask you this. From your perspective, if I'm watching this and I really want to go out there and launch a website or blog that allows me to share my expertise in a, in a given area in a way that I can monetize, should I focus on a niche or should I just have be super broad and, and <laughs> what, what do I need to do? Um, the more focused and targeted you can be um, is going to be your win. Okay. So if you can focus on, I mean, even like be the best you know, pickle maker in the history of the world. Okay. And it's easier to even focus on, on like, or shoelaces, like only sell red shoelaces, like only sell one thing and then grow that and then add on. Now I've heard that, you know, if you, if, I mean, I've heard a lot of entrepreneurs give this analogy and I think it was Isaac Newton that first came up with it, but if the sun's rays, if you harness them, you know, to like a magnifying glass, they can burn stuff. Right. But the sun's rays not focused doesn't burn anything. And when, once you get that fire going, then you can get that, it, it spreads. Wildfire. That's what you're saying is we got to focus on that. And I, I love that. Now, Rachel, for anybody who's watching this post to, or watching this video who um, has an interest in, um, you know, 50 things, how would you recommend they decide what to focus on? Um, well, first of all, you probably have, they probably have an idea, okay. right? Probably have an idea. And my idea was to make clothing. And then, you know, and then it evolved into DIY and recipes. Um, so, and and I only wanted to focus on family. I didn't want to talk about women's fashion, although I love women's fashion. Um, I get a lot of opportunities for that. So um, whatever it is, your idea, your, your main idea or your main passion, let's say you sell hair bows, um, start with that. Yep. Start, start with hair, hair bows. Now, if you just don't have it, I, I bet you they already have an idea of what they want to do. If that's selling jam or whatever so it is. So you're saying deep inside. They probably already know what this. I mean, like, if you're thinking that you want to start a business, like, that's, like, the very first thing. And that's, like, I want to start a business. I don't know what to do. I think people know. So if you're, if you're I mean, watching this and you're really struggling to find out what you want to do, um, and there are, there are people out there. I know that there's been a time in my life where I was highly motivated with nowhere to go. Just, like, woof, you know, at first, when I first started, kind of, like, I want to be a DJ, but I want to be an animator, and I want to be a videographer. Oh, like, but so, I, but so, so you, but you had ideas. Yeah. You had ideas. But I had to choose yeah, okay. one. Eventually, I had to start with one and have success there. Right. And then all of a sudden, when I started winning some awards, I had more opportunities to open, open other businesses. Right. And so I just don't want you to become a... It's okay to have multiple businesses, but we have to have some success at first from focusing. Right. Now, well, that's going to monetize and seed your next venture. Boom. You hear that? Monetize and seed your next venture.